Positive Innovation for the Next Generation was started in January of 2009. It came out of a project uh, that was an SMS support reminder and information system for HIV positive patients uh, that me and five of my friends were doing. We actually started the organization kind of by accident. We had no big vision. We just needed a legal entity to enter into partnerships with the Ministry of Health and the largest telecom in the country in order to do the project. Uh, so Ping was not some sort of grand vision. It was a, it was a necessary accident in the beginning, um, but now it's become something much bigger. For the first two years, we only built patient tools, um, all SMS, USSD-based reminder support and information. Uh, we worked with HIV patients, TB patients, uh, new mothers and male circumcision patients. And then about two years ago, two and a half years ago, we started building smartphone apps. Um, so we built, our most popular application is a disease surveillance and mapping tool. It's used to track disease outbreaks um, and also map cases for certain diseases. Other smartphone apps that we've built involve remote diagnosis tools, um, things for oral telemedicine, dermatology, um, and we've also done some cool health wikis where people can look up health information, um, both as mobile sites and using SMS or USSD. Actually, a really important part of what we do and a huge part of our vision. Every time that we launch an app, we take two to three youth studying computer science, local youth, and we train them how to do support and maintenance on, our, on the system that we're piloting. Once the system is fully piloted, those young people either get jobs with us or jobs with another partner, such as the Ministry of Health or another local NGO. And for us, as we're starting to do this for-profit arm, we're now moving away from just building health and education apps and starting to build apps in general for African markets. Um, but the vision of taking two to three local youth and showing them the process of, you know, adding to these tools, maintaining them, even just getting the project live, going from idea phase to actually an app that's being run in the real world, um, is one of, for me, my favorite elements of our work. Um, so it's really cool to watch the young people soak the information up, get inspired. Uh, one of our mentorship kids is starting his own IT company right now. We've trained uh, 26 mentorship kids. Um, we have had projects with over 50,000 patients enrolled. We have deployed uh, smartphones across Botswana um, with 80% country coverage. We have, one of our systems has detected 89 potential disease outbreaks in the past year. And we've taken government response time from about two months um, to within 48 hours um, with that system. Um, we, I would say the, the, the most uh, important impact is that some of our mentorship youth are looking into starting their own businesses. Um, and that, because we're not gonna be around forever, I would like to think that we, we would be, um, but, uh, and our apps aren't going to be around forever, but just creating this culture of young people taking ideas out of their minds and creatively applying technology to make those ideas a reality. Uh, so long-term vision, what I really hope, you know, five years down the line, there's someone running a really successful IT company in Mozambique, someone running a really successful IT company in Kenya, and they come together at a conference and one says, hey, I was a ping mentorship kid, like I did support and maintenance, and the other one says, oh, me too, you know, and they like laugh about it.